What's going on boys and girls? On this video, we're gonna talk about the top five things that you need to be concerned with before transitioning from active duty to National Guard. Check this out. I wanna start by saying that although regulations for active duty does apply to National Guard, there may be additional regulations specific to your state that you may not be aware of. So definitely look into those and understand the differences. Now let's get started. Number five. The number five thing is that as you transition from active duty to National Guard, make sure you get a good point of contact for the state that you're transferring into. Yes, as you transition, they will tell you that don't worry, the state will reach out to you with further instructions. However, do not go blind. Make sure you get a point of contact, whether it be a recruiter, a retention SEO, a state uh, S1 personnel manager, get some type of contact because you will have several months of no drilling status uh, as your paperwork is in limbo. So to check in your status and be, and be proactive, uh, make sure they get a point of contact that will at least steer in the right direction or at least inquire about your transition process on your behalf. Number four. The number four thing is that keep good contacts from active duty. Uh, those people will be able to help you transition if you have questions regarding your military service, uh, may be able to steer you in the right direction of point of contacts while you're on active duty for people that can answer your questions that are specific to your active duty service. They may also be a good point of reference uh, for your MOS specific or general military knowledge that they may have that you may not remember or may not have known before you left. Number three. The number three thing is save all of your records. This include all your performance, awards, any kind of data that you have while you're on active duty that shows your performance or your achievements or anything uh, related to your service, essentially. But also keep records or keep tabs or keep any manuals and information that you may have regarding your MOS specifically. Although a lot of that information is readily available online, you may want to keep some hard copy or some digital copies in your computer that you can reference it later. Number two. The number two thing is have a good game plan as you transition to the National Guard. Because once you get out of active duty, you no longer get a paycheck, which means that you need to transition into a civilian job, civilian housing, all of that stuff without the National Guard's help. You are now a civilian on an M-Day status. Yes, you are a soldier, but not full-time, which means that all your full-time responsibilities will be done on your time. Yes, I'm well aware that while on active duty, you will get counseled as you close out your service. However, go a step further. Get a feel for what life is like on the civilian side. Talk to some folks that have made the transition and see what their uh, major struggles are. The more you prepare, the easier transition will be, especially when there's no military support. Number one. Number one. Although you may have felt like you're on your own when you're on active duty, in reality, you're part of a system that operated like a well-oiled machine. So things that you were going through, other people have gone through. In the National Guard, that's also the case. However, it's not a well-oiled machine and everything works independently. There's no military support as you transition. So ask questions. If you don't know something, ask. Uh, if you don't know, uh, National Guard regulations specific to your state, ask that question. Ask all the questions that you need to. Even if it sounds dumb, ask. Because don't swallow your pride a little bit. You may come out as an E4, E5, maybe even an E6, right? And, and you've been expected to know how to find these answers. But remember, you're going to a new service. Although it's still the Army, there are a lot of regulations specific to your state that you may not be aware of. So understand your resources, understand the information that you need to transition and be patient. Be patient because most of the leadership that you'll be dealing with are also M-Day soldiers, just like you. So Monday through Friday, they have a full-time job, just like you. And the civilian employers don't pay them to do military service. So keep that in mind, be patient, be flexible, but ask questions. All right, boys and girls, good luck in the transition from active duty to the National Guard. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you like this information, as I put out tons of information specific about the National Guard. Check out my videos on retirement and promotion, and also check me out on social at Part-Time First Sergeant with a hashtag Drill Weekend, and let's continue this conversation. Thank you.